In the following video, I will discuss the topic of the marine fish stock and why it is considered to be a tragedy of the commons. I will also include policies and solutions as well. However, I would like to discuss what is a tragedy of the commons. A tragedy of the commons is when any natural resource is unowned or is non-excludable and can be overused and is also under-maintained. An example of a tragedy of the commons would be the fish stock. Fish as a whole is considered to be a public good. This means it can easily be accessed, which can easily lead to overuse. And this leads us to our problem at hand. As a result of overuse, the fish stock has been decreasing rapidly. In the past, demand was less than supply. However, due to overuse, demand outweighs supply thus leading government to make a decision. The government, in order to prevent fish extinction, came up with policies. These policies set up limitations that will also present, prevent the overuse of fish resources. These policies led to solutions that will help to increase the fish stock. The first solution, which is command and control, included limited fishing time on sea, and it limited the amount of fish you could catch. This, however, was proven to be ineffective because people always seem to find loopholes. This leads us to our second solution, cultural norms. We as people evolve and so do our norms. Therefore, social norms can help by disapproving on overuse and honor those who don't. However, this is only effective in small governing communities. Lastly, the creating of property rights. This would mean turning non-excludable goods into private goods. This would result in less overuse. Property rights would also lead to tradable allowances such as ITQs. What are ITQs? ITQs or individual transferable quotas are property rights to certain tons of fish. The sum of ITQs is the total allowable catch per year. ITQs can also be bought and sold. ITQs and catches are similar. In order to prevent the fish stock from collapsing, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration and the Environmental Defense Fund implemented catches as well. Catches is the allowable quota of fish that is established then divided between a group of fishermen. An example of catches is when the amount of fish and species caught is divided between you and other fishermen. This is done in order to protect the fish stock. But why implement a system such as catches? Well, because they provide a sense of security for fishermen businesses. The catcher system is trying to prevent the collapse of the fish stock, and in doing so, they prevent job loss as well. It limits the accumulation of fish, which sustains the fish population. The system installs a sense of responsible fishing, and participants work in regulations, and can be held accountable if not. This can be done through inspection. It allows for quota to move around, and benefits the fishermen. It also allows for a more market-based approach for the industry. However, the catches can lead to the privatization of fish. This could lead to fishermen going out of businesses because they can no longer afford quota. And this would mean that the public will have less access to fish as well. The system is also ineffective due to the fact that people always find loopholes which leads to more strict regulations. In conclusion, in order to prevent fish stock from collapsing, we need to look at alternative policies that will benefit both fish and people. Fishermen also need to work more towards NOAA's regulations to ensure the safety of the industry as well. Thank you very much.